Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the gold Gatorbacks from David Blaine. All right, so the new gold Gatorbacks, um, if you've been following David Blaine for any amount of time, uh, you know that he has uh, done a series of these in different colors. So there's been a red edition, and there's been a black edition, and then there's been a green edition. And so this is the new gold Metal Lux version. Now, he released these also with the subtitle that these are the edition Doré, which Doré is French, and it means wealth. And I guess you can kind of see that with the, the gold uh, Metal Lux foil on this. It does have a very opulent, very rich uh, feel to it. Of course, these cards were printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they were designed and illustrated by Mark Stutzman. Now, the tuck case is very similar to the Gatorbacks of past, uh, with an exception, and I'll show that to you, uh, or a couple exceptions. Uh, you got your gold uh, alligator there in the front with a bunch of white embossing. Uh, the front is very similar. This is the sides do have uh, words. They do have embossed uh, words, but uh, they're the same as before, and they're just so difficult to read. <laughs> the bottom has some ad copy, of course. And the top of the tuck case, this is where one of the variants is. Uh, you've got two Eiffel Towers, and then the words, and Paris. And um, I'll show you a picture here. Uh, there's also a extra ad card. Okay, there's also an ex extra, like we could call it a gaff card, that also says, and Paris. And I would assume uh, this is just, you know, it's something for David. It's a... It's a reveal card that David knows the reveal to, he knows the trick to, and it's probably something uh, he uses in his walk around. The back design, of course, is the back design of the cards, and on the tuck flap, you have the David Blaine symbol. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said earlier, these cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they are done with a modern cut. Now, in the past, he's had traditionally cut cards. These are a modern cut card. Uh, and as far as the thickness goes, Man, United States Playing Card Company is getting really weird. Uh, I think they would argue that these are casino grade uh, stock, okay? And these are uh, 2.80 when you measure them with the caliper. So I take them, I put 10 cards in the caliper, and I measure them and use them as my standard, okay? And uh, they come out to 2.80. Now, a fresh deck of bees straight from United States Playing Card Company uh, comes to 2.78. So 2.80 is definitely thicker than um, a United States Playing Card Company uh, stack deck of bees. However, 2.80 is still really low uh, in comparison to previous years. And so I don't really know what to tell you. I think the Metal Lux adds some thickness to it, and so that would mean the paper stock's even thinner. So, man, you'll just have to compare and see for yourself uh, where you think these fall. The back design, of course, is similar to other uh, gator back back designs of the past. You have like hidden alligators and scroll work. Uh, you're gonna notice also that you have a very thick white poker border, very thick white poker border, thicker than normal in the past. And that is simply because uh, of the printing process that USPCC goes through. I think David wanted to make sure that the registration on these stayed even. Uh, and it, and it, still, I don't, it still didn't work. There's a lot of cards in my deck, and I've uh, read from other reviewers, that the registration on these is, I mean, it's terrible, really, it's terrible. There, there's so many cards that are off kilter in my deck, it's not even funny. With this deck, you're gonna get three jokers, and they are all different depictions of David Blaine's daughter with his pet alligator, and there's pretty much one joker for each one of the different very, uh, various releases of the Gatorbacks. Your Ace of Spades is the standard Gatorback Ace of Spades. It's an alligator shooting up out of the water, trying to catch a bird in his mouth, and then underneath that it says Gatorbacks number 127. The pips and indice cards are all gonna be completely standard, and the deck will come in a Mammonica stack, which means it is a deck stack, meaning that you could take the cards out of the box and do a false shuffle right in front of your spectator, uh, bring the deck back to new deck order, which would be Mammonica stack, and then you would know the placement of every single card, even though to your spectator it would look like it was shuffled. Of course, this only works one time when you actually open the deck physically in front of your spectator. Your court cards are going to be somewhat standard, but there are uh, some of those David Blaine uh, court faces that you've seen in previous decks, along with some new ones. And then you'll also notice that the courts have a uh, gold and red metallic ink. All right, so that is my review of the gold Gatorbacks from David Blaine and DavidBlaine.com. 
as always, recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash metric orthodoxy, twitter.com slash metric orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.